Hey guys, Visor here, and it is time. I have been waiting for quite some time to be able to bring this to you guys, and I am pumped and excited and ready to finally get this series off the ground, off its feet, and ready to go. And uh, I'm, I'm pumped and ready to go. So, as you guys can tell, we're going to be playing ourselves a little bit of uh, some Pokemon. So first off, I'd just like to have a big thanks out to Ips, I Poke Struckle. His link and stuff will be down in the description down below. He is the fabulous person and good friend of us, and the NPL as well, who um, created the nice little clean layout we got going on for us, as well as the thumbnail uh, that we will be using throughout this series. So now, what the question probably is, what exactly is the series that I'm doing? Um, so, you guys are probably like, uh, Bizer, you kinda did a little typo in your title and the layout and the thumbnail. You called it Rising Ruby, and this is clearly Omega Ruby. Well, not exactly. Alright, so first of all, let me explain to you what exactly Rising Ruby is. Yes, this is Omega Ruby, but a little bit of a twist. So, some of you guys may be familiar with Dreano, who is pretty much the king of the Pokemon hacks in the Pokemon community. He's made some amazing hacks such as Volt White, uh, Blaze Black, Storm Silver, Sacred Gold. Those ones are kind of his most famous ones. Basically, he takes a ROMs, he hacks, <clears throat> excuse me, still a little, I'm quite, I'm a little sick. So it's kind of, we're starting off the series a little with me sick, so my voice is not all there, but it should be hopefully back uh, sooner rather than later, so excuse me if I have to cut, uh, because I cough or sneeze or something, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll pull our way through it, we'll pull our way through it. So anyway, like I was saying, Giano makes some amazing hacks for Pokemon, so what he has actually done is he has created a hack for Alpha, Ru Alpha Ruby, wow, that's genius, Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby called Sinking Sapphire and Rising Ruby. So this is a Rising Ruby. We're going through the Omega Ruby version of it since we played our Alpha Sapphire Egglock. I figured let's go through Ruby this time since we haven't done that on this series. And here we are, a Rising Ruby Nuzlocke. So if you guys aren't aware how Dreano Hacks works, uh, basically he takes Pokemon and ups the difficulty ridiculously. If you guys remember our Volt White Nuzlocke, the only Nuzlocke I have ever failed. Yeah, he's the one that did those. Uh, so Giano hacks are incredibly, incredibly difficult, and I am not expecting anything less with this thing. Um, so that's going to be quite difficulty. We're doing a Nuzlocke of it, so that's fun. And so I guess we'll do the generic old... Uh, if you guys don't know what a Nuzlocke is by now, you probably should, but we'll just go ahead and ex explain the rules right quickly. Nuzlocke is pretty much... <clears throat> excuse me. It's pretty simple. It's Pokemon on hard mode. So this is Pokemon on hard mode already with a Giano hack, and this is Pokemon on ultra hard mode, basically. But how it works is, uh, it's Pokemon with some limitations to it. So basically, first of all, you are allowed to only catch one Pokemon per route. You're allowed to catch only the first Pokemon you see in any new route. So that limits basically the amount of Pokemon that you can get. So, if we go into route, uh, whatever, 115, and we see a Slowpoke, that is the Pokemon that we can catch in that route and we are only allowed to catch. If we fail to catch it, meaning we faint, or yeah, we faint, I guess, uh, that would be a different rule though. Anyway, it faints, we run away, we fail to catch it, anything like that, any for any reason we don't catch it, we are not allowed to capture a single Pokemon in that area. So we can only get one new Pokemon, or one Pokemon in a new area. 
And building on that, dupes clause is of course in effect, meaning that if the first Pokemon I find in a new area is a duplicate of a Pokemon that I've already ca caught or its evolutionary line, I can re-encounter and get a new Pokemon. Rule number two is you have to nickname all the Pokemon that you catch. It's that simple because these are your special Pokemon, so you got to nickname them to get that bond going so that way you can always, you love these Pokemon, you got to show it. It gives you that nice attachment to them. Because of rule number three, if a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and you can no longer use it throughout the challenge. So basically, if a Pokemon faints, what you have to do is you have to put it into either the PC permanently in a dead box or you release it forever. Since we're doing a Let's Play, we'll put it in the PC in a dead box and where it will stay there to remember as we had our nice little montage of our Alpha Sapphire Egglog at the end. Hopefully we don't have very many montages that we have to do with this one. But anyway, so that's how it works. Pretty straightforward. Um, and let's just, uh, let's get on, let's just get on into this. I've been waiting, ready to go. Let's go ahead and hit that A button and let, let's get on here. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's start it on up. Excuse me if the voices are a little, uh, not up to par. Like I said, I'm a little sick. So I'm gonna get some water actually right now. So I'm gonna try my best, but hopefully I'm not. I'm gonna record a couple of episodes right now. Not sure how many I am, but hopefully uh, it's not too bad. All right, <clears throat> let's do this. I'm trying to remember what advice did I give Birch. Oh, let's just let's do. Uh, Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor, and this is what we call a Pokemon. Oh, look at that, it's a Game Boy. Didn't see that one coming. Ah, this is a really good good intro, I like it. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times, playing together as friends, and at times helping one another out. Laron. And sometimes we just like to have fun battling others like us, but as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many, many mysteries surrounding Pokemon. I do research to try and unravel those Pokemon mysteries, but that's not enough for me. Did it say that's not enough, that's about, that's enough about me, or is that enough for me? I, I wasn't really paying attention, I was just kind of reading. It doesn't make sense. That didn't make sense, doesn't make sense did it? Anyway, what about you? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Uh, last time I checked, I am a boy. We'll give you my name. All right. My name is the one and only Bicer. Oh, what am I? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, uh, we're forgetting somebody here. Where's he at? There he is. Our little mascot friend. He's got he's to gotta join us in our party. Um, so we'll put you up. All right, yeah. Can you shut up here? Oh, oh, okay. Can you actually, uh, can you chill? You gonna chill? No? Alright, well, I think I have to put you this way, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, nope. <laughs> there we go. We got him. Alright, our mascot, Shadow the Umbreon, thanks to good old Brizzy. Thank you for the Christmas present. He'll be joining us on our verdict. I believe I forgot that guy. He's supposed to be sitting in the back there. Ah, I see. You are that visor. This is not the same voice I was using earlier. Oh, you're the one who's moving to Little Root Town, where I live. That's more like the voice. It's already halfway through. We're already just like randomly changing voices. Are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. I expect we'll be meeting soon. Come see me at my Pokemon lab. Okie dokie. Let's see. Alright, so nothing different about that intro. Um, I have no idea what Drano has changed, but hopefully this is the hack. Uh, it's the first time testing it, but I guess we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see until we get further on and see if there's anything different. So let's take our leap into Destiny and um, get on through here. I'm, actually, I'm really looking forward to this because Drano hacks are pretty freaking sweet. And I really hope that he did an awesome job on this. I haven't seen anybody else play. There's not that many people on YouTube because that have done this because it's quite a bit of effort that you actually have to do in order to do this. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Alright, classic bomb voice. Bizer, 
You're here at last. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of that bumpy moving truck all the way? Well, this is a little root. I don't... That's what I never understand. So it's like, yeah. Uh, sorry, son. We're gonna shove you in the back of the moving truck with all the boxes and stuff. See so where you could get yourself really badly injured all the way here. Oh, well. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time, Bizer. Come on, you have to see it inside. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that voice for very long. <clears throat> see, Bizer? Isn't it nice in here, too? I'm going to try my best, though. The moving company's Pokemon even help with the unpacking and cleanup. They're really making me moving a cinch. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Oh, thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I guess that's how you say my joke in Pokemon. Rawr, 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 rawr. You should go and see your new room upstairs, Bizer. Dad even bought a new clock for it to help celebrate the big move. You'll need to set the time, though. All right, thanks, Mom. Let me go uh, do that real quick. Hello there. Uh, so let's see, is there anything, uh, anything new in there? Is the trash can's empty now? Mm-hmm, to keep up with screen, yeah, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing new so far. Alright, I gotta set the time. Let's set a time. What time is it? Seven, oh, it's gonna do it automatically, that's right, I forgot. It's been a while since I actually played through the campaign of 20 hours and 49 minutes. Is that correct? That's cr not... That's not correct. It's an hour ahead for some reason. <laughs> oh, probably because I didn't set it back in daylight savings a while ago. Anyway, good. Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs too. It's really, it really is so nice having Pokemon around to help us. Oh, but you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Okay, thanks, mom. What we got on our desk? My new books are full of adventures. Wow. Thanks. Oh, Bizer, Bizer, quick, come quickly. Already did. It's the Pedalbird Gym. Maybe Dad will be on TV. Interviewer. <laughs> yeah, let me read who's talking. We brought to you this live report from the front of Pedalbird Gym. Next up, a special looking at what a long-awaited meter shower in the next star show. Oh, it's already over. Looks like your dad was on, but we missed his part. What a shame. But that reminds me. One of Dad's friends lives in this town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. <clears throat> what are... Oh, that voice is going to kill me. Alright, um, do I actually have to... Yeah, I do, because that thing's there. Yeah, I'm going to go talk to May. Oh, another girl voice. What? Well, how do you duty? How, hello, how are you? Oh, you're a paisa? Uh, the next door neighbor, welcome. We have a daughter at about the same age as you. She has been excited about making a new friend. She should be in her room upstairs. I hope you introduce yourself. Thanks. Nothing I've seen change so far. Yep, got my belt fixed, got my book. We're all ready to go. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking the voice for her. I remember the voice I gave her last time. It was like the stupid girl. Should I make her like? Yeah, okay. Um, Pokemon fully restored. Items and all. Oh, 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 oh. Who is this? Uh huh. Oh, who are you? Oh, um, uh, let me read your mind really quickly. Oh, you you must be by, sir. Your move was today, huh? Well, I'm May. Glad to meet ya. I actually have this dream of becoming Pokemon fr- Becoming Pokemon friends? Hmm. Becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. Oh, <clears throat> and then when Dad, oh, I mean Professor Birch, told me about you moving here, Bizer. Well, I was hoping we'd be nice and be friends, but that's that's just silly, isn't it? I just met you. So what am I talking about? Hee <laughs> hee. I can't do this. <clears throat> oh no, I forgot. 
I was supposed to be going out with Dad to help catch some wild Pokemon. Bye, sir. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, I like heard some uh, guys like screaming ahead. <laughs> Should like help him. Help me! Help me! I haven't learned anything new yet. Hello! You over there, please help me! In my bag, there are some Pokeballs! Okay. Alright, so now is our starter. So, this is not a randomizer, as you guys can tell. Uh, it's just a good old Nuzlocke. But, so we have, uh, if you guys remember, the trusty, dusty Dice of Destiny from uh, our Alpha Sapphire egglock that helped us choose all of our Pokemon. That's how we will be determining who we'll be starting with. So basically, one and two, we got Trico. Three and four is Torchic. Five and six is the good old Mudkips. Leg day. So let's see, um, roll the trusty dusty dice of destiny and see what we got. We got a five, which means leg day is going to be coming onto the team. Alrighty, leg day. Let's do this. We already have a nickname for you, don't we? Leg Day is making his return. Hopefully it's a girl. It's a guy. Leg Day is making his return from the Alpha Sapphire leg, leg Alpha Sapphire leg lock. Alrighty. We're starting off with water. Did we start off with water gun before? I don't remember that. Like I said, it's been forever since I played the actual story mode so I have actually no idea what the I thought you just start off a tackle though but eh, eh, who knows but so far there hasn't been anything different Whew. I went into the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped you saved my heart thanks a lot oh but you're Norman's boy <clears throat> I didn't even realize who you were at first. You've grown into quite a young man. This isn't the place for a chat, though. Come along to my lab. Where'd your daughter go? She went off to find you, and then somehow she's, like, way over in that area. Hmm, I don't... That, that, that sounds fishy. I don't understand how that worked. But all right. Whatever you say. Yeah. Sad I don't get it either. So, Bizer, I've heard so much about you from your father. But he said, you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, that's quite a performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh, yes. So say, thanks for... To say thanks for rescuing me out there. How about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? We got ourselves a leg day. Well, you're at it. Why not give him a nickname? Of course I'm going to give him a nickname. That's the spirit. What name shall I go with? Um, leg day. Is there any other name for a soon-to-be Mega Mudkip? No. Oh, you know, if you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a pretty excellent trainer. My girl, May, happens to be out on Route 103 right now, surveying some Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea for you to wait out there. What do you think? Sure. Great. I'm sure May will be happy to see you. I'll see you later. Oh, yes. And if you ever get lost, use the Area Nav and the Pokedex and Route 103. And if you're on your Pokemon guitar, get some rest back at your house. Okay, thanks. Bye. Good to see ya. Uh, so there's nothing different. I'm hoping this works. Hmm. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Well, I guess we can tell. I mean, we'll find out, because there's supposed to be new, uh, or, ra or additional Pokemon in these routes that we can catch. So, now it's a Wurmple. That's, that's a normal Pokemon. That's definitely a normal Pokemon. It's water good in you. Die, Wurmple, die! Nobody needs you, fake Caterpie. Poison Sting? Arr! Don't you... Is this how we're gonna start off? Is this how we're starting off? Is this how we're starting off? Do I really have to go all the way back to my house because I get poisoned? On the first freaking sting of a poison sting. No. No. 
Where, um, okay. Okay. Oh, that's a Pidgey. I don't believe Pidgeys are normally here, so therefore I think this worked. I think this worked. I'm gonna run, though. I think it worked, because I don't think Pidgeys are normally in this area. So that'll be... Hello. If you're going to get tired, take it to the Pokemon Center. Thanks. Alrighty. Yeah, I think so. I think we're... Oh. Ew. <laughs> Why, hello there. I work with the Pokemon. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer, am I right? All right being super kind, I'm going to give you some advice. I, I don't care. Yeah, that's... I, I know. That's where you catch Pokemon. And get Pokeballs and whatnot. Oh my god, we got potions. Thanks. Okay, yep, that's the Pokemon Center. Great. Drayana, why did you not get rid of this? Like at all. Drayana. Come on, man. Get on this. I thought you were a better hacker than that. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and uh, heal on up. And so that way we can uh, not have to worry about no uh, freaking poison from a worm pulp. Great. All right, so we're gonna pretty much we'll probably end it when we get to do our battle with the Maester. Uh, yeah, Route 103. There's the Maester. Hello, hello. So we can get a Pidgey or a Wormpole over there. The um, Bunnelby. Yep, this has definitely changed because you don't think you can get Gen 6 Pokemon yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's good. It's water gun. Yes, that's good. That'll work. Okay, I think it worked. I'm fairly certain you can't get Gen 6 Pokemon yet. Fairly certain, in any case. Not 100% certain, but fairly certain. Yeah, you can only get Gen 6 Pokemon in the Mirage places. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this appears to be working. It appears to be working. Uh, and that means at least there'll be some variety of Pokemans that we can capture in these new routes. Which is pretty cool. Alrighty then. Hello. Press the circle pad. Thank you. Alright, let's go ahead and battle May, and that will be the first episode today. Hello. <clears throat> Hold on, let me get some water for this. <clears throat> let's see. Oh, Route 103. I found this Pokemon and this one and this one too. Oh! Hi, Bizer! What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Well, then why don't we go ahead and have a quick little battle? I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is really like. Cool. Alright, our first battle of You Are Challenged by Pokemon Trainer May. Got your ego. Of course you do. Oh, does that mean you're going to do a grass move? Crap baskets. Oh! Oh. Oh. Oh, I think we're going to lose this fight, guys. Good thing the Nuzlocke hasn't officially started yet. doesn't start until you get Pokeballs, if you guys aren't aware. That's why those encounters don't matter. Um, yeah. 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 I'm, uh... I'm pretty sure we're going to lose this. Yeah. Yeah, pretty sure we're going to lose this fight. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting her to be at level 6 too. I was definitely not expecting that, especially with Absorb. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not winning this fight. That's not happening. That's not happening. Um, oh, Alright, you're going for Lear. That's, that's cool. You're giving me a, I don't know, something. Crit? No. I would need to crit on the next one. Lear again? No, damn. Absorb is special, so that Lear doesn't matter. We're gonna live on four. And even a crit's not gonna kill this time. Dang. Lear? Lear again. Come on. Lear again. Lear again. You know you want to. Damn. Miss? No. <laughs> yeah, that was not gonna happen in any... This is gonna be a challenge. This is gonna be a challenge. Okay. Yeah. Big surprise. Oh, wait, it blacks me out? I thought you... Oh, you... Oh, okay. 
I thought you could lose the first match and it didn't matter. Alright. Alright, well apparently... Apparently, no. That's not how that works. Alright, well! Now that we know that May is at level 6, uh, let's, um... Let's level up to level 7, maybe? Yeah? That way, hopefully, we'll be... Uh, no, we're not gonna outspeed. Oh, there's a pearly one here, too. Alright. Alright, you then. Actually, I should check what, uh, what nature I am. Um... So water gun I think is 40, which goes to stab. See, oh, there's my crit. Uh, let me see. How powerful is water gun? Water gun, yeah, it's 40. Special, yeah, it's 50. Yeah, okay. So water gun is more powerful than tackle. Assuming that I'm not, like, adamant or something. Uh, double crits. Why couldn't I have gotten these crits when I was battling the first time? Uh, let me check out. I didn't even take a look at... Uh, what Mudkip has. Uh, okay, yep, this definitely is working, because we have Damp, and we're actually a modest Mudkip. Alright. Alrighty. Modest. So special attack is better, but it's not that bad right now. Um, Alright, good to know. We're modest. So that means we can give ourselves Surf. And why not? There's a Pidove. Lots of different Pokemon over here. Yeah, we had our hidden ability. Um, unfortunately, Mudkit probably has the most useless of the... Actually, no. In a Nuzlocke, Damp, um, actually, is probably not that bad now that I think about it. Because, you know, explosions and whatnot are the death of Pokemon constantly in Nuzlocke. So that is entirely possible. I did not think about that. Alright, we're at level 7 now. Lord Mud Slap. Oh! That's still resisted. Mm hmm. Still resisted. Uh, should I not get to level 8? There, oh, look, a Badoof. Glorious Badoof. Um, alright, let's tackle. We're in a mud, mud slap is not stab yet, since we're not ground. I think we don't, I don't think we become ground until Marsh Stomp. I believe. Oh, you created me, huh? Not cool, man. <clears throat> not cool, brah. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go to level 8. It's gonna be silly. I think that'll be silliness. Alrighty. Yeah, we could actually get to level eight. Not bad. Yeah, let's get to level eight. I don't want to. I don't want to lose again. Lost forty-eight dollars. <clears throat> not about that whole giving up forty-eight dollars. Ooh, we can get a freaking Gale Wings Talon Flame. Hmm, that'll be good. <clears throat> that would definitely be good for us. I'm assuming these all have their hidden abilities. Possibly, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> it is possible, and hopefully that's true. But I think Dreado pretty much does that with all the Pokemon. He pretty much just gives them all their hidden abilities, unless the hidden ability is Shite. Like, Scissors, Light Metal. The, the fuck would I want Light Metal over Technician for? I don't know. Uh, tur yeah. See, that's why... Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. It's a little iffy on Damp versus Turret, because I guess in a Nuzlocke it is definitely helpful, because, you know, explosions and whatnot definitely can prevent that from happening. But, you know, eh. Eh. Alright, cool. We're at level 8 now. Um, so now we should definitely be good to go. Let's go ahead and heal on up, and then we'll take on May one more time. Yeah. I thought for sure that you could lose the uh, first battle. It didn't matter. I mean, I know you could in the older generations. I guess they changed it in this one or something. I don't know. Just because why not for the shits and the giggles. Yeah, I lost my $48. I don't want them back. I gotta, I gotta get that $48 back. Alrighty. 
right, man. You're going down this time. You ain't got nowhere to run, and I ain't got nowhere to hide. All right, man. Let's try that again, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Because um, that was an embarrassment last time. I'm not going to read this text again. We already know what it says. <clears> hey, <throat> here. Thanks, May. Little bow. All right, Trico. I'm level eight now. You're only level six. Let's do this. See, that was a prime example right there. It's right on making it more difficult. Usually, the Trico's only at level five. But this one, he's like, nah. I know that they like to level up a little bit. They'll probably be at level six, and now you're still outspeed me. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Okay, good. You went for Lair. That's good. If only, like, Mudkip had String Shot or something. Alright. Uh, so I should be able to take two more Absorbs. Oh, he went for Double Lair. Alright. I just needed you to go for Double Lair last time, and I would have won. Oh, there's that crit that I wanted a while ago, too. Ding. Oh, we almost got to level 9. Oh, sh golly shucks. Wow, that was pretty good. <clears throat> It was a good battle! Thanks! Let me heal up both of our parties real quick. Your team's health was restored. Oh, that was the computer. <laughs> <clears throat> wow! I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you. I mean, you just, like, got that Pokemon and you've already got a strong bond. I bet you could probably befriend any kind of Pokemon you meet. Phew! I guess I'd better head back to the lab. Okay, bye, May. Alrighty then, <clears throat> that is going to be the first episode, I believe, kind of the intro episode. I believe we'll get our Pokeballs next episode and we'll capture our first Pokemon then. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been a quite little bit longer episode than what I'm going to keep them to. Usually I'll keep them about 20, 25 minutes, about 10 minutes over that mark. Um, so we'll prevent that from happening next time, hopefully, assuming I keep track of the timer and don't ramble on like I'm doing right now. I hope you guys are pumped and ready to go for this Rising Ruby Nuzlocke, that's the word I was looking for, <laughs> because I am pumped and ready to go. We got, we already know it's confirmed, it's working, I'm excited, I can't wait to see, we've already had a nice little bump, shows you how difficult this is already. I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, see that like button down below, so remember to click the link in the description down below to follow me on Twitter, so I post updates to the channel, all those good things and stuff, and I guess I will see you guys later.